say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. You're supposed to tell me when you go live, so I'm not sitting here. So I'm not sitting here sipping my drink. Hello, everybody. I guess we're live. Welcome. Let me see if I can get this streaming on my phone so I can kind of see. Screaming on your phone. Not screaming, streaming. Welcome. Welcome, Patty. Welcome, Ken. Welcome, Liana. Welcome, both Patties. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday evening. <clears throat> Hope you had a great day. I think it was a whopping 24 degrees just now. So just balmy. About ready to break out the shorts and sleeveless shirts, right? How's your weather? Hi, Liana. Hi, Beverly. Hopefully you're enjoying your weather, whatever it is. We kind of are. We were we were just commenting on the way to church. This is this is the harshest winter. I mean, we've only been up here, what, going on three years. But we've spent a couple more winters than that up here. This is by far the harshest winter so far, but we're still enjoying it. So that's a good thing. More, more snow, more snow this winter than we have seen in any of the past ones. But like I said, we're still enjoying it. But then again, we're retired. We don't have to get out and go to work every day. So we can just sit around and unfreeze our pipes and put fire in our fireplace. Except and, tomorrow. And we're good to go. Except tomorrow when you have to take your dog for surgery two states over, then, well, well technically, yes, we pass through three states to get her there. Uh, it takes a couple extra days to do that safely. So that's what we're doing. Okay, it's cold here in Kentucky. Some snow showers. You know, um, my cousin actually went down to the Gulf. Uh, because it was so cold, she decided they went down to the Gulf for a vacation. She lives in Oklahoma City, so mm. they, they should be heading back there right now, actually. Yes, quite the show. And, and Patty, I keep changing it out. I keep, I think, okay. I got to find something Christmas to take out so I can put something winter in its place. So, yay, you have water. Sorry about the sewer line. Yeah, you kind of pick your battles there. Yay. And Kita says her snow is finally starting to melt, which can be a whole other issue. Melting snow can be almost as bad as standing snow. Hello, Shauna. Welcome. So again, if you're joining us, if you probably know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But love our page, follow our follow our page and sprinkle if you will. That really helps us out. We are I've got some goals in the new year. Gonna replace the line before they cover the water. Yeah, good idea. Got some goals for the business for next year. And one of the things is we've got to get some more followers. We've got to get some more viewers because um, that's kind of like the bread and butter of, of the business end of it. In the meantime, we're just going to craft. And like I was telling Patty, oh, only minus 30. Only. Well, good. Yeah. Open your windows. <laughs> Get a breeze going. <laughs> Hi, Fran. Good evening. Okay. Oh, and I found out I had one of my Kingdom Kids children watching me make the sled last night, and he and his mom did not comment and say hello. So, Michelle and AJ, if you are on, you better say hello. Anyway, if you if you are watching and you don't. Don't you don't have to comment a lot, but please just say hello. It gives us it gives us all the feels when we when we see that you're watching and supporting us, and we really appreciate it. Okay, so I was talking with Patty about uh, replacing things, and I don't know how you're feeling. Maybe you've already got your Christmas all packed up. I'm I'm dreading getting all the Christmas stuff packed away, stored away for next year. So wouldn't it be cool if you could just flip your Christmas stuff over, not have to pack it up, and you could just leave it up on the wall. So that's what we're going to do. 
we've done it with a couple of things. We did it with with our let's see if I can get this down without knocking stuff over. Okay, remember our Christmas countdown calendar? Perfect, but after Christmas, what good is this? So we repurposed it and on the back I can have this up year round. So this is one more thing I don't have to pack away for Christmas. Ingenious, right? So if you remember, we made this sign, mistletoe, cut daily, 25 cents, kisses are free, a little thing of mistletoe, cute little hanging sign. It's kind of run its course because it's kind of Christmassy and Christmas is over. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to design the back. That way I don't have to pack this up, at least not until after Valentine's Day, because we're going to do a Valentine's transfer on this. So we are going to use, this is called Hugs and Kisses XOXO. Hugs, kisses, hugs, kisses. You all know that. You guys are all of the generation that understands XOXO, not tic-tac-toe. Do kids today know what XOXO means? I mean, they know LOL and, and all of that. I wonder, do kids today know what XOXO is? We used to write it at the end of our letters. When we when we wrote letters by hand to I'm Grandma, sure you did that to my letter. I, all of definitely. In fact, I've saved his letters, so I could I could prove it. <laughs> so this is the transfer we're going to use. It's three little parts. So we're going to do the hugs and kisses on this long part, and we're going to do the XOXO on the square, and we're going to do the February fourteenth on the round shape. Where did you get those shapes? You ask. Yes, Cheryl, ask the grands. Let me know. Let me see if they don't know, if they know what that means. Anyway, the shapes, these shapes we sell in our shop online. So these are the simple shapes rectangles. And this, this was actually Hello Pumpkin, but I haven't done the back. So they're two-sided and they are about five inches by 12 inches. They come in a pack of two. And then this is our simple shapes, just called simple shapes. And it comes with two circles and two squares. They're, they're decent, nice quality wood, nicely finished. They're not like the raw wood that you can get um, at Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so they're like ready to go. Again, we sell these in, in our chalk shop. If you're interested in any of these supplies, you can comment XOXO and my my little helper, my little computer helper will send you a send you a link of, me, of all of these things. The not bot. you. The bot. The, the, the computerized boy. helper, not the helper on the computer. Okay. So, or you can you can make these shapes. In fact, uh, this was this was the the fake wood that we did last night on last night's video. If you missed that, you might want to uh, you might want to look it up. And you could make you could cut these out of foam core board and do this project on this. But I'm going to use these because I've got them because I've already got Christmas on this side. And I'm going to I'm going to take off this string. Just so you know, Cheryl asked her, her grands, and they said yes. And okay, so your grands knew it. Asked her oldest son, and he knew what it meant. Okay, well, good. So and not every. Grands knew. So apparently, somebody's teaching these kids the important things in life. Okay, so I'm going to take my my hanger off, and what I did to hang this, I don't, I don't know if you watched when we did this live, is I punched holes in it. Um, at that time, I only had my crocodile to punch holes but now Chuck Couture has where is it has its own little hole punch this is a forget what it's called power punch power punch that will punch holes in this I don't know what is it quarter inch quarter inch wood like nothing okay and then I just I used uh, paper clips to kind of hang it and it worked really well because the paper clips don't allow it to spin around so if if you want it to spin around you don't want to use paper clips but if you want it to just stay in place 
these unfolded paper clips worked great. Okay, so we're gonna do these uh, this side now. And I am actually going to copy the design that Chuck Couture put in their catalog for this. So I don't, I don't have to think about what colors. So this, we're going to paint the background black. You can paint them black, you can leave them white. This one we painted green. So I'm gonna do this one black. This one I'm going to keep white. And this one I'm going to paint a light pink. Okay, so let's get started. Um, ordinarily something this size, I would probably paint it with chalk paint, like folk art or Waverly, but I was, I was going through my paste and this is the tail end of some of my black paste and it's, it's dry in some spots and a little chunky. So I'm just going to use this. Um, okay. I mean, it, it, it looks okay, but it's, it's a little funky. It's a little chunky down there. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with distilled water just to thin it out a little bit. And then this is going to be dedicated chalk paint from now on. There's really only a little bit in here anyway. So you can paint with our chalk paste. So you, you kind of thin it down till it's paint consistency. And I use distilled water because I don't want things growing. If I'm going to keep it, if I use distilled water, it doesn't, doesn't give anything to nothing's going to grow in that when I seal it up because I can I can save it I just need to remember that it's that it's paint and not paste anymore although if I let it dehydrate again and thicken up I can go back to using it as paste okay so I've got a brush and I'm just going to paint our surface and I think I'm going to put down some paper so I don't get, I get paint everywhere. And I'm going to paint off the edges. I don't want it to smear over onto the edges. So I'm kind of painting against the grain right here because I want to be brushing off the edge. There's a, a chunky right there. And then I'm going to go back and paint with the grain. Like that. And the reason you don't want to do the edge is because you're using it two-sided. Because I'm using it two-sided. So I don't really want black to be showing on the edge or, or a little bit of black. I, I would like that to stay white. So I could completely paint the edge or I could go back and do it in white if I happen to smear or I can just try to really be careful and not cause the problem in the first place. Okay, so did anybody... Oh, good for you, Cheryl. There's important things that they need to know and they're not going to learn it from their friends. Um... Did, yeah, did anybody do the 15 minutes? I have to be honest, I have not done my 15 minutes yet, but it's still early here. Some clumps there. So, did you do the 15 minute challenge? If you did, what did you do? I think I'm, I think mine is going to end up being laundry because we are taking off at about noon tomorrow to head into Enterprise, Oregon, where Daisy's surgeon is, so that we can drive the treacherous trail in the daylight and be there bright and early for her surgery on Tuesday. Okay, so I've got, I've got that black painted. I brush in some water. Close that up. Yeah, so she washed the bedding today. That's work. Awesome. You better believe it. Good. Oh, I need to do that too. I had, I had guests, and I have two rooms of two rooms of sheets to do, but clothes first. Cheryl did. She chalked some on the little rounds. 
Oops. Okay, and I do have a little bit that I smeared. And I can kind of take that off. Okay, so that's the black piece. And what did I say? I was going to do this in pink. So for my pink, I'm going to use peony. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's some debate whether it's peony or peony. I don't, I don't think it really matters. And I've got some black on there. I want to get off before I paint. So how do you pronounce it? P-E-O-N-Y. 15 minutes in the kitchen cleaning. Awesome. Did it go. feel good? I hope that felt good. I hope you felt like I could do another 15 minutes, but you didn't have to. Okay, so I'm going to use peony, really pretty light pink. And again, I'm going to use it as paint. So I'm going to take a little bit and stir it up just a bit. It's been sitting for a while. I haven't used pink for... Cheryl says she's a little bit like you did. Peony? Peony? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take just a little bit of paste. It's not going to need a lot. And I'm going to put it in one of my color trays. So my lid. I end up chopping with that. I'm going to take a little bit of, again, distilled water because if I don't use all of this as paint, I can put it back in the jar. And because I thinned it down with distilled water, nothing's going to, no bad stuff is going to grow in there. So I'm just kind of mashing those little lumps down mashing the paste, mixing it up, turning it into a paint consistency. And I think I'm going to give it just a touch more water. Thin it out just a little bit. I don't think I'll need that much. And again, I'm going to paint off the edges that is pretty. I'm not a huge pink fan, but this is a really pretty pink. And it's kind of showing brush strokes, so I may need to go back and do a second coat. Again, I'm brushing off the edges so that I don't get it on the edges. And I'm not paying attention to the direction of the grain until I've got that done. And then I'll go back and I will do the brush strokes in the direction of the grain. And a little bit streaky. So tell you what, Let me dry this real quick and then we'll put on a second coat. Kind of disguise some of those brush strokes. Paste all over me. Dries really quickly. Oh, I like you. Okay, so while well, we've got 13 people on, welcome everybody. If you're new, let us know you're watching. Let us know where you're watching from. I want to start, like I said earlier, I want to start building up our viewers, building up our followers. Um, if we're able to do that, if I can start getting like 50 people on at a time, we can start doing some giveaways. Making it lots of fun. Dry up some of that on here. So we really appreciate it. Hi, Alana. We really appreciate it if you're able to share our video out with your friends. 
um, you have any crafting groups that you're a part of that really helps us um, that way we're not depending on Facebook to push us out to the public and and if you ever get things that show up on your Facebook feed and you think where did that come from you kind of wonder so you get more uh, what's the word I'm looking for credibility if somebody if somebody you know shares shares it so so that's why we appreciate you sharing ooh, i'm not supposed to say that word spreading our video around so when it shows up on your friends feeds they know it came from you and so it, it it's we're a little more trusted off the bat hopefully okay so now I don't have any more streaks there and I do have some excess paint. I'm just going to scrape it into my jar because I have not changed its chemical makeup. And as that evaporates, as that water evaporates off, it turns right back into that same paste consistency. Let's see, I'm leaving the square white. Someone else in the chat. Was Ken on? Did I see? Did I see Ken? He posted a picture today of him in a big old shaggy beard. Did you see it? Did you see my comment? No, I've seen the photo. Oh. Yeah, I just said that looks like you only. You weren't in. Uh, you weren't in all black. You were in your plaid. After after two weeks here, you you quickly turned into a country country folk, not bumpkin, but country folk. Up here, the we are. Where's Ken? Up here, we um, we kind of have this stigma. Uh, although we're quickly becoming the majority and not the minority, we're, we kind of have the stigma of being former Californians. And so we kind of get teased where we've got to earn our plaid because lots of people wear plaid up here. It's sort of funny and, going to the store with my boys. No, with your boys? And my wife first. With your wife. You tell them what you saw. Well, I was... Uh, the other, not the other day, That's a couple weeks ago. in the past, I go to the store and we don't, we don't walk side by side as we're shopping. He goes and does his stuff and I do my stuff. And then we try to meet together in the middle. And so I'm looking up and down the aisles, looking for him. And I think, okay, he's wearing plaid. He's wearing a plaid shirt and suspenders. I'll be able to find him. Oh, and a baseball cap. Every, every man in the store is wearing a plaid shirt and suspenders and a baseball cap. So that that didn't work. <laughs> My boys had the exact same thing when they were here left North 40. And they said, oh, we should find we him. We can he find him. Work. Yeah, he's wearing a plaid shirt along with every other man. Now, to be honest, I was wearing plaid before we got up. You were. You were, but not nearly. It did not take over. You, I should take a picture of his side of the closet. Ken says he's here. Alana says he's here. He's pretending to be an Amish man. I think he's incognito. I'm just <laughs> star. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This is going to be, well, before I go further, because this is painted, this is a painted surface. You need to bring in those shop towels sometime. Can you bring in your shop towels? Yes, you told me. I was, gonna buy, I was going to buy shop towels, and you said, don't buy those. I have rolls of them in the garage. Okay. Fine, I'll bring them Because in this is, is painted wood, and it's just freshly painted, I don't want my sticky transfer to lift up any paint, so I'm going to wax this. So I'm using my surface wax. I sell in my chalk shop. You can just use paste wax like you can get at... A hardware store however this does not smell horrible this smells very nice and I'm gonna go ahead and wax this anyway even though it really doesn't need it because it's not painted 
but the wax can do a couple of things. It can protect the surface from, um, from the stickiness of the transfer. And it also, wood has, uh, natural wood has grains in it. So it's kind of like little grooves and ditches in the surface. And if they're too deep, then your paste can kind of bleed. It kind of gives an outlet for your paste to bleed. And we don't want that. So this kind of acts as spackle, maybe. Wood filler. Wood filler. Wood filler. To fill in some of those grooves to give to to get us a the flattest surface possible. So I put some wax on and now I'm buffing most of it off. Because too much wax will interfere with how my paste sticks. So I don't want that to happen. And you can see my, my paint is still not completely dry because it's some of it's coming up. So wax on, wax off. And this is a bad, I should have asked for microfiber cloths in my Christmas stocking. You should have. I Not should have. Get some. Yep. So we'll put that on the Harbor Freight list. Hold on. Okay, would you? Because I don't bother washing these because I, if the wax comes out, I feel like the wax doesn't dissolve. It's going to go somewhere. It's going to attach to something. I don't want it to attach to my washer or dryer. So after these get completely waxed up, I just toss them. And I could use a paper towel. They kind of fall apart, though. So that's what I was going to use a shop towel. So again, I'm just I'm just buffing off any excess wax. And the wax gives it a really pretty finish too. It kind of gives it a little bit of a glossy finish. Shaking the table. Yeah, yeah but the camera's not attached, so. And I, I think I offended some people with my, with my shirt this morning at church, because there are some people who are done with the snow already. There's some people that are having. Some people are before. really having. It's really causing them some problems. So. You did not offend anybody. Well, I had some comments. I also had some comments. I took our, I took the sled we made yesterday. Today was my Sunday for uh, snacks right after church. Uh, they have a little fellowship time where they have cookies or brownies or, or whatever and coffee. And this was my week to to provide those. So I kind of decorated the table and I put I put our sled out there. I got I got some I got lots of compliments. It was fun. Okay, so here's our transfer. Again, if you're interested, I think I put in the in the cart link, I think I put the shapes and I put the transfer and I think unfortunately there's only one of these colors available right now in the paste packets. And I think that was the uh, I don't remember what color it was. Maybe it was the red. I think it was the red. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to cut these apart. Is Daisy getting warm? Is she getting warm? I don't know. I, she just walked over by the heater and she's standing right in front of it. Okay, so I'm going to cut this apart. There are lines where you that guide you where to cut it apart. You don't have to. You can also leave the backer sheet whole and just kind of gently slice through the transfer part of it. That way you can keep it all on an eight and a half by 11 backer sheet, but I'm okay with separating these. Okay, so this is going to be hugs and kisses. This is going to be February 14th, and this is going to be XOXO. And I'm gonna get my fuzzing cloth. So I just think this is ingenious, so I don't have to put away Christmas stuff. Just flip it over, 
So can you imagine when, if my whole house was done that way, come day after Thanksgiving or whenever I decide to decorate for Christmas, I just go around the house flipping things over. <laughs> Ta-da! If I could just do something about the tree to not have to take it down. I have seen where they people actually do it. It's not just a joke. They wrap up their tree in packing plastic. Pallet wrap. And then ornaments and all. Well, where do they put it? I don't know. They put it down in their, in their Christmas room in their basement. But then they don't have to pack up all the ornaments and pack up all the garland and pack up all the lights. Do they have a nine foot tree? I don't know. A they, nine foot tree wouldn't fit now. Okay, so I'm fuzzing this. This is our um, trans silk screen transfers. They're self-adhesive, reusable, reusable 10 to 12 times, maybe even more if you take good care of them and clean them up. And they're very sticky, especially the first time you use them. That's a big down. I almost really messed that up. I wouldn't do it on purpose. So you could do this on multiple projects. If you if you went to the what to the chop shop that followed the cart link, you get two of these and two of these and two of these. So you could make two uh, two sets of these, one to one for yourself, one to sell, one to give away. Okay, so I've got hugs and kisses and I'm going to do the words hugs and kisses in peony. And I'm going to do the and, the ampersand in shimmer gold, because we've got to have some sparkle. Okay. Well, I'm still early. <laughs> okay. Now, with my shimmers, just a little hint. We haven't had any comments. Am I mesmerizing you again? They are. They're just okay. sitting there quiet. So, a, a little tip with your shimmers, the mica flakes or specks or whatever they are they they tend to kind of settle a little bit over time so it's it's a good idea not absolutely necessary but it's a good idea to give your shimmers a stir right before you use them to make sure all of those little shimmery specks are distributed around evenly okay so i'm going to do and and there's a reason I'm doing the gold first. The shimmers take a little bit longer to dry. So I have a little extra work time with the shimmer paste. Again, this is Chalkology paste. It is chalk in paste form, so it's just the right consistency to work with our silk screens. Now, if, I, if, if this was regular paste if, and I let it dry in the container, uh, on the on the screen when I go to peel it up it's going to peel up the, the paste too and I don't want that I want it to stick to the surface and again I'm going to do hugs and kisses in peony 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 which is a word for a flower kind of a type of rose I believe or well, it looks like a rose Cheryl says I'm just watching waiting for someone to say something well Cheryl you just said something <laughs> Is it like uh, the silent game? We played the silent game with kids. With kids, especially, do you remember who we especially yeah, played it with? Heather and Aaron. Heather and Aaron, Mike and Bev Smith's kids. They were they were very active children, and we were we were married. We didn't have kids of our own though. Yeah. And we volunteered to babysit these two children. They're they're adorable kids, but like I said, they were. We didn't have kids yet, and we weren't quite ready for... <laughs> so we were babysitting them, and we tried to play the silent game. Who can be silent the longest? I think it worked once. One round. <laughs> then they caught on. And there was no more silent game. Okay, so I'm going to start at a corner, but I'm going to go to an end and peel this up. That's so cute. Hugs and kisses. And put this down on 
pull this out here. Okay, so this is just a dish drainer pad, and I'm not quite ready to clean this yet, so I'm just going to spray it with water so that that paste doesn't dry. It's easier to clean up if the paste is still sure, a little wet. Sure, I don't know if you remember, but there was a song that Dr. Demetra used to play. They're coming to take me away. Ha <laughs> ha, they're coming to take me away. Being a little white coat, sir. Sorry. Okay, do they know Dr. Demento? Uh, yeah, I think he was local, but he did go uh, nationwide after a while. Cheryl said you can't exactly have a conversation with herself. Well, you yeah, could. Call, get him <laughs> you white could. Coats, get okay, so this one, what am I going to do? Okay, this one I'm going to do February. You know what? They only did Feb. I think I'm going to try to fit the whole word February on there looking at their I'm looking at their sample and they only did the word Feb Let's see if I can fit February on there fit it fit it fit it, fit it good fit it, fit it. Okay. Oh, it fits they're just lazy okay. I'm sure I've got well, that. Said it's cute it is cute and I, I like everybody those colors yeah, well, you're also Southern California. Okay, so I'm pushing this down. This heart, there's a lot of screen, and the screen itself, there's a Duke hair. The screen itself doesn't have adhesive on it. So there's nothing holding that, that background down. So I'm making sure I really push down on the green parts, because that's where the adhesive is. And let's see, what was I going to do? I didn't pull out white. Let's pull out some white. And we're going to do February in white. Again, more Chalkology paste. And I'm just dragging that with my squeegee over over the screen. Patty says so she likes the peony. I like I like it too. Yeah. I'm not yeah. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of pink, but Cheryl says certain she shades I like. Transplanted in Northern California. Oh well, really? Well that was Dr. D did go national. He started in Southern California. In fact, I can remember when I was at Culver City going to school down there for a year. Um Dr. D was the, they had a, a local parade, and Dr. D was the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, not master ceremony, mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, he was, yeah. I got, I got a it's photo like of me, in fact, I think it was in our yearbook, me going out and shaking his hand. Some of the kids didn't know who he was. Okay, so, and we're doing the 14th, and this is Candy Apple Red. And this is a little thick. Hopefully I don't have any trouble with it. Probably should have. Wow, Patty says, Patty says February 14th is our 29th, 29th. Woohoo! Congratulations. Okay. Grand Marshal, that's right. Grand Marshal. Okay. There is February 14th with the dog hair in it. That's okay. And again, spraying that, these. That February 14th mm -hmm. puts me in the mind of uh, those sweetheart candy. Maybe it's a heart shape Could on be. there or whatever. Okay. Let's see if I can get that dog hair off. welcome i would say like how, what our anniversary is but i don't remember okay. how many years have we been um, it will together? be 40. it will be 40. okay so there's february 14th and let's see we're going to do this one we're not going to do any more red so let me close that up we're not going to do any more white let me close that up. We're going to do gold and black. So I'm done with the peony. And so I need gold. And... 
Okay, the XOXO is going to be in gold, and the outline is going to be in black. Because I'm following, I'm just following this idea. So sometimes if you don't have ideas of your own, I just copy them from the catalog. Go online and see what they did. Okay, woohoo, we still have 12 people watching. Our dogs are starting to play. Must be getting to be bedtime. Okay, so again, fuzzing. We don't have to fuzz this one as much because this isn't a painted surface. Just to center that in there. Push down. No air bubbles. And I'm going to start with going to start with the gold because it's shimmer. It gives me a little extra time, dry time, so I don't have to do a paste and peel. And with the shimmers, sometimes it helps to kind of come at it in different directions to get to make sure those little shimmers get pushed through the screen. So when I'm doing paste, I, I kind of do the shimmers from all directions. Ink, not so much. Ink, you just want to go one direction. Okay. There's my gold. My black. Jean says, love the hugs and kisses. Gold is beautiful. I love, I love it. I love the shimmery. Hey, settle down, you two. Okay. I'm not pushing hard, especially on a wood surface where you, you have the, the grooves of the grain. You don't want to push too hard or, or you, you actually push, push the paste into those, those little ditches and you have some bleeding. Okay. That done. Side, check my fingers. I'm going to peel it up. There we go. XOXO. And spray this a bit. Okay, so there's all my pieces. Let me close up my paste. You don't want to leave your paste out, especially when you've got the room kind of superheated, because it, it will evaporate and it will thicken up your paste. So you don't want to leave them open too long. It's over there. Put them away. I have this fancy little organizer. Okay, so let me show you how we clean our transfers. It's, it's important that you know how because that makes them last longer. Um, so I'm going to take water. It doesn't have to be distilled. Any kind of water. I'm trying not to splash these. And I'm going to start with just a paper towel and wipe off that initial excess paste. If you have a sink handy, that is actually the easiest way to clean these, is to just um, stick them in the sink, run some coolish water over them, and then I'm gonna switch over to my board eraser which is like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals in it. You don't want to use chemicals on these. And I can either spray it with water or I have a, I have a little container of water that I'm dipping this in. So I've got this wet and I'm just using this to get the rest of this paste off. And my goal is to get it all cleaned out of the screen. That's where the magic happens. 
with our with our transfers. Now, some of our higher pigmented colors, like the red and the the black, will stain. Will stain this. That's okay. That doesn't affect how well the transfer works, as long as you get the screen cleaned out. So clean off the front. That's where most of your paste will be, and then flip them over, because there will be some there will be some paste on this side also, and you want to get that cleaned out. And also the fuzz that you got on it, you want to get that off too, because that will affect your stickiness. So cleaning that up, getting off that fuzz, getting off that paste. Now, while they're wet, you'll think, oh no, it's not sticky anymore. As soon as that dries, your sticky will come back. But while it's wet, it, it, that adhesive mellows out. And there I have my, I have cleaned my transfers. Ordinarily, I would tell you just let them air dry but I wanna show you how to put them back on the backer sheet. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel. Only do this when, you're, when your transfers are wet or you'll, you'll make a mess. You'll have the paper towel sticking to the back. So I'm just cleaning off that excess water with a paper towel. Flip it back over. Mesmerizing you here again, huh? Lots of people in their thirties. Aw, sorry. Is it still a happy day for you, though? Lots of good memories. Lots of people got married on on Valentine's Day. I think we. I was supposed to get engaged on Valentine's Day, and he refused to do it because he thought I knew. Okay, so see. They're drying, so now they're they're getting sticky again. So I'm gonna take my backer sheets that I saved, and there's a shiny, slick side, and then there's a matte side. You want that shiny, slippery side up against the sticky side. And I I put the transfer sticky side up and put the backer on top of it. It seems to work better. And then I turn it over, make sure there's no creases, same thing, line up, line up a corner, line up an edge. Oops, see, sticky. Got some creases there. I'm just gonna work those out so it lays flat. Same thing. It just says, it says, yes, happy memories, 23 wonderful years together. That's, that's lovely. Yes. So hang on to those. Okay, so I've got them on the backer sheets. Put this away, and I'm going to stick them back in my little cellophane bag to keep them safe and clean and ready to use again. Again, you can use them 10 to 12 times, guaranteed by the company. As long as you treat them well, clean them up, they will last you a long time. Okay, so here we have... February 14th, XOXO, hugs and kisses. I didn't want to use my green paper clips, so I got some pink paper clips. So I'm just going yeah, to. You can't just flip them around. You have to change your well, paper clips. I could just use silver paper clips and then I wouldn't matter. But... There you go. Yeah. But that was that was like boring. Okay. So let's put there. this here and I think that 
is still a little tacky, so I'm going to hit it with a dryer. I think I smeared a little bit of my XOXO. I'm going to go back over it again. Okay, and I'm going to feed this back through. And my little trick for feeding that through is I take a piece of tape. And on the end, I kind of roll it up like a shoelace, the, the aglets on the shoelace kind of makes a little needle. And let's see, how do I want to do this? I want to go down there, here. go and I think I tied it there I could just use new but I'm too cheap I'm using the old twine I didn't really even need to take it off but because I was painting as I was painting this I took it off tie its little bow back on and voila I've got not a Christmas decoration but now I have a Valentine's decoration. That's what do you so think? And I could use Kisses Are Free instead of February 14th. I like Kisses Are Free. That works for me. But there we go. So repurposed. And I don't have to pack away my Christmas yet. Awesome. What do you think? Hope you like it. Cheryl thought it was cute also. Again, if you're interested in the supplies or just looking to see how much, what prices are, you can type in XOXO in the comments and it'll send you a link to the chalk shop and specifically to these supplies. If you want to look around, just scroll to the bottom of that where it says back to products and you can take a look at what else. <laughs> can start small. Start right? starting with the. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. <laughs> thank you, Ken. And, and Patty says she agreed. So cute. cute. Thank yeah, you. Exactly. And I thanks, Don. With... I didn't know. I didn't know you were on. I wasn't watching. I so, those of you that asked for the dimension sheet for the for the sled, I haven't forgotten you. I just today was filled with church and snacks and brownies, and so I will get to that. Hopefully by tomorrow before we leave. Here you go. <laughs> you are a couple of brats. Okay. So let, let me pose. You're posing again? Here, let's do the Vanna. Do the Vanna thing. Okay. So that's our project for today. We are, we, uh -oh. like I said, we are leaving at about noon our time to take Daisy to Oregon. And so I would like to do a live in the morning. I'm not quite sure what time. I'm not quite sure what we'll do. If the mail comes early, I'll do the club transfer because it's coming in the mail tomorrow, but I don't know if it'll come early enough. She so really delivers that up here, doesn't she? Uh, no, it would be, it would be mail. Room? Yeah, it'd be just in a nine by 12. So that, that she usually doesn't deliver till like, Two or three, fifty-two. <laughs> oh, Daryl's in on it now. <laughs> you guys are killing me here. Thank you guys, we love you. Okay. Yes, XOXOXO XO, XO to all of you. Thanks Thank for you. thanks for joining us on a Thank Sunday you, night. Um, I'm trying to get some traction because I've got a lot of things I want to do this new year. I've started an email list and start a newsletter. But it's, it's taken me a minute to get it organized. So stay tuned. Good things are coming. I'll need your help for some of it. And, and he's saying, keep, I don't know if he's saying keep talking or if he's saying we've got to get our sign language down. I thought we could think <laughs> across. You, you and I can just sort of, you know. Well, I can't read mine yet. <laughs> Not I'm yet. You thought you could read mine? No. <gasps> okay. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, thanks so much again. 
and we will see you tomorrow. We'll tr like I said, I'm tr I'm I'm challenged to do 31 lives in January. I don't know if I'll get it done. Part of that I'll be in Las Vegas, so it, it'll be tricky. But we'll see how many we can get done. But I should go on tomorrow morning. Don't know what we're gonna do. We'll do something. Should we do something from Enterprise? We should do so. We, we should at least do a check in after Daisy's surgery. We could, we could. So we might not we might not do any crafts. I might bag up some crafts she and take. Might be, she might be wearing a cone of shame. Oh, not the cone of shame. I hate those. We'll I hate those. Anyway, thanks, so Alana. thank you so much. And we will see you. Thanks for watching. And if you if you're watching this on the replay, if it no longer says live up here, then please comment hashtag replay so we know you were here. And I think that's it. Okay. If I forgot it, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. So bye-bye, everybody.